Hi, so this is the first tutorial for our new pipe calculation tool. You'll be given the option to use the pipe calculation tool um, when you go to the optional pages. So that's either towards the end of a, uh, of a heat completed heat loss report or um, you can go into an existing completed report <clears throat> in the dashboard and uh, click on the pipe calculation. Cal calculation. So um, click on that. So the information, just reading out this here. So you will need to select the pipe diameters and lengths of the system. The results will inform you if the pipe sizes and flow rate, rates and pressure losses are suitable. The first information it says up here is delta uh, T value is required for the for the room. So um, I just want to bring to your attention that information which is, which is bought from the actual heat loss report is the name of the room, the heat loss of the room, and the flow temperature of the room which has been specified in the emitters and performance page. Furthermore, um, if your surveyors on site uh, using the app have actually typed in what existing radiators in the system, that will also follow suit and the output of that radiator is dictated from the flow temperature that's been specified again from the emitters and performance page um, um, correlating to the height and the length of that rad. Um, if no radiator was typed in, uh, it's not a problem. You can actually type it, you can actually um, use the options here as well um, to select a radiator. Uh, or you can actually do it in the um, uh, the, the emitters page. So, okay, so um, before I start populating what uh, the, the ID numbers are for each of the room and the radiators, it's good practice to draw out the schematic, whether or not you're comfortable using a, a CAD system, um, doing it digitally, um, Drawing it is absolutely fine. Um, I, for this purpose, I've actually just roughly sketched it out. Um, recommend you do the same, just so you can start labeling up the the rooms uh, and the radiators with the IDs. And what I mean by IDs is that if we've got the heat source here, doesn't matter what, whatever it's renewable or conventional fossil fuels, we've got a primary flow coming off here, and then we've got T1, and then T1 splits off down to the bedroom, the, sorry, the bathroom, and we named that A1, and then the radiator within that room is A2. Go from T2, we've got bedroom as the B1 ID, and then the radiator within there is B2. And because the kitchen, the living room, I've named that C1, has got two radiators, we've got the C2 and C3. So it's a sort of nice logical sequence there. So I certainly recommend you sort of mapping that, drawing that, drawing that out. In the future, we will have a schematic tool we've got to draw um, uh, on, on the pipe calculation. So look out for that in, in October time. Um, um, <clears throat> so if I, um, oh actually just, just want to bring this to your attention as well at the top, I will create another video explaining about the initial velocity max selected and the minimum and also the pressure loss as well. But if for this case in this tutorial, if uh, you want further information at this point, uh, note one, two and three uh, has some information down here. So we're following the in industrial standard there. Um, so pipe run order for the, the bathroom, it's probably a good idea if I just split the screen. And um, so scroll down here. So the bathroom is here. So uh, the bathroom is A1. So this is really important because we're telling the system um, what the order of the pipe the pipe has been is going to be installed in or or is currently installed at um, so it can add the sub mass flow rate totals together um, cranking for what's doing there uh, it's the, that's the predecessor ID for bathroom one so the predecessor is T1 here there's T1 there we go and also within that we've got a radiator haven't we so it's K2 so that's um, that's the radiator within the bathroom here. So I know that that's going to be A2. And to the bedroom one. This is B. And then the predecessor for bedroom one. If we go back, go from here, do do. There we go, it's T2. So I'm going to create the T's in a minute. So that's T2, and then the radiator is B2, and finally the kitchen, which is the letter C we're using, and 
and then the radiator in there so you can really see too. Okay, done that. So, and uh, just uh, like that. So we can see the information there. Oh, kitchen living room. The predecessor for kitchen living room is T2. And so, you know, you have got the orange cells that help you to, um, rem well, it reminds you what you need to populate. So I've done the, the, the predecessors, the predecessors being has been determined and also the pipes, uh, the pipe IDs. Let's add the T's in as well. So T1. And the T1 starts with the heat source. So I tick that because that's going to start with the heat source there. And um, it's supplying T2. And it's also supplying uh, C1 for the kitchen and the living room there. <clears throat> um, one more T. T2. And that is coming from T1. So that's the start ID for T1. So it's coming off there. And it's supplying B1. And also uh, C1. I think I made a mistake, which I can just change in a second. So I've got, I put down C, which isn't like, shows you how easy it is to edit actually. So we put down T, T1 here. I've said it's coming off of the heat source, which is correct. And, and I've also said it's feeding into uh, T, T2, which is correct. But it, I've said it's feeding C1, but it's not. It's actually feeding A1. So I'm going to change that to A1. So that's good. Um, so um, delta T is now. So I've got heat pump. I'm going to put a delta T of 7 degrees. And then I can copy that all the way down. Um, so up there. And um, pipe selected. Put down 15 mil. Copy that all. But we do need to get uh, the copy feature to work on the radiators. So by all means, send us an email. Any comments, you know, put it on the YouTube video. Um, or, or certainly email us across as well. So pipe selected for 15. And I'm selecting... You know, you can use an educa educated guess what pipe, what pipe size you'd like to use, um, but um, the, the system will tell you whether or not to reduce the diameter or increase it, and we can do that in, in a moment. Um, so I'm at the stage now where I um, also need to type in the, the lengths of the pipe, and I have added uh, another diagram. So if I open up the other diagram I've got here with um, the actual lengths on there. So... Um, for um, the first emitter, we've got uh, 2.5. So I go to 2.5 here. So that's the emitter from um, the bathroom. And then scroll down here, which is the emitter for uh, bedroom one. So bedroom one, we've got five meters plus two meters. So that's uh, seven meters. And we've got the emitters going to the, that radiator, which is C2. So C2 is uh, 2.5 plus 4, so that's 6.5. And then the 2 meter gap between those two radiators have C2 and C3. So this is the C, C3 rad, um, and then that's going to be 2 meters there. And the other details which I need to populate is going to be the the primary flow there so uh, same again with delta t i think we will actually have that automatically populating the delta t um, from the um, from the previous um, options there and then just put that down as 15 as well and then the distance from that says so 1.5 plus 2 that's 3 meters 2.5 sorry okay and then the uh, T, T1, that is 
Oops, sorry, that's, a, that's, that's the pipe size, wasn't it? I'm drifting there. And then we've also got uh, T2, so T2, that's a distance of three meters there. So three meters there. Okay, all right. So I think that's all the, the details typed in there, selected in the um, and the boxes for flow temperatures, the delta T, the pipe sizing, um, and also the length of the pipe and the ID runs as well. Um, so um, if I click on uh, compute pipe run, Oh, it's telling me that I haven't selected a pipe size for that. So, okay. So I go up to um, the radiator there, bathroom, and pipe size selected, go to 15. Oh, got that there. Compute there. There we go. And then, so get, so this <coughs> this stage, when you, you press the compute pipe network run, it's adding up all the, the sub-flow rate totals um, and determining the pressure loss as well. Uh, and the total pressure loss head. Um, compute final results. Um, it shows you that there's the result there to select the circulation pump, the in-depth circuit. Um, we've added 50% uh, for fittings um, and it stated that the primary pipes leading to the kitchen living room with emitted K2 is our index circuit. Um, you can uh, select it as a single pipe system or two pipe system and if it's two pipe system it will double it so we've got the return there as well. So we can see that we've got added that our index circuit initially calculated we're added 50 percent um, and then we're actually um, uh, doubling it there as well so we've got two pipe system and if you want to see um, how the index circuit subtitles were, were computed you can click on this little eye here and because we've got three networks um, again just to highlight that out here so we got one come to the bathroom then two go into the bedroom and then three go into the kitchen living room so you've got three routes these three independent routes are computated individually and then we establish which has the highest um, pressure loss because we're adding up all the all the total um, pressure loss there um, that's total pressure loss meters head there um, so that's um, how that works there um, we are in the stages like I said of, of creating a diagram where you can map out and draw it um, and just to sort of give you a little bit of assistance uh, might not be perfect but we certainly will improve on that it's the show tree so if you click on this um, it maps out the it's like a flow diagram so it will show us that there's the heat source as t1 um, so it's it, it gives you a little bit more assistance there um, in, in, in that perspective okay so there's the two radiators there coming off from the the, the living room in the kitchen um, and you can see the, the mass flow rates and the totals there so it's just a little bit of a an assistant uh, assistance really to ensure you you know you're happy with the um the pipe run IDs. One thing which I haven't shown you yet, which is pretty important, is the ability for it to recognise if a uh, diameter is suitable or not. So um, because we've said the mean uh, velocity should be anywhere between 0.5 and 1. Um, in this case it's uh, below 0.5 it says we need to reduce the the pipe size so if we went to say uh, 12 mil so it increases uh, if we went to 10 mil it's getting even more and uh, because the because the heat loss is so small in that room um, uh, the uh, mean velocity is starting to creep up to the 0.5 value and if we wanted to say actually that's quite close enough uh, instead of saying it reduced diameter we can just change that to 0.5 say and, and now it's accepted but these values here which are by default as I said at the start of the video have been dictated by international uh, sorry by, uh, by certainly by British standards um, and other international standards as well um, and does vary from uh, different countries but um, I will do another video regarding that but we're saying we don't want it to exceed um, faster than the velocity faster than meters per, uh, one meters per second and uh, we don't want it to fall below uh, uh, 0.5 um, just to, to ensure we don't get any settlement but you know 0.45 could be on the threshold there um, certainly 0.49 you'd, you'd, you'd pass that there um, 
so it tells us if it's accepted or not and and also if the pressure loss is, has exceeded um, so in this case our pressure loss has exceeded 300 um, uh, pascals per meter so um, we can we can look at our tension in that so it it helps you with the design um, you know it really is sort of um, intuitive in the sense that um, once you put in the values in there because you know the length of the pipe you know the run of it um, you know what flow temperatures are going to have um, but actually what kind of pipe sizes uh, are more suitable um, let's have a look on this primary flow one here so that's accepted um, so um, have a have a have a look have a play around uh, see what you think um, and certainly uh, give us some feedback either on the YouTube video or send us an email so really appreciate that okay thanks very much